guys. I got the goods. I got the goods. We gonna do some painting today. Oh yeah, here it is. Our paint supplies. All right, we're ready for some painting. So let's get to it. Here we go, guys. I got all the RA stuff stripped, sanded, and ready for paint. Oh, this is gonna be custom. So yeah, see, I just took a couple of ladders and strap a piece of wood across it, or flop a piece of wood across it, I guess, and then hang them up. That's the best way to spray paint stuff. Hang them up, and you can get all sides and don't have to worry about flopping it around. And so, we are ready. I just got to blow them off, uh, degrease them, and then we'll do some spraying. But the first thing you want to do when you're spraying like any kind of automotive enamel or even just spray painting enamel, get your vehicles out of there. Because even like, yeah, even with them just, a, you know, even with them quite a distance away, it seems like the overspray travels quite a ways and it'll stick to your car. And it's a pain in the ass to get off, so let's move the car real quick. Let's move it, um, Frankie, out the way. Ugh. Yeah, I did that once before. I got paint on her. You gotta like scrub it off. Come on. Get her clear out the way. Shut the gate so the dogs don't get out. It's a perfect day for painting too. No wind. It's like 75, 80 degrees. Oh, perfect. And I thought I'd better get it done today because it might rain tomorrow. So, all right, let me get to getting some paint mixed up. Okay, so first thing we want to do, guys, is etch prime them. And I like to use this U-Pole. It's some pretty good etch primer. Just shake that bad boy up. Oh, he drops it. That's all I need to do, drop it and bust the top off. I'm shaking it. Can you see me shaking? Ugh. So let me shake that up for a while and then we'll spray it. Okay. I think we're ready to put some etch primer on. So let's do it. And you don't have to get too crazy. Just a nice even coat. Nice. Get down all angles. We'll get this guy. Get the while we're at it. Mm-hmm. Come over to the other side. Make sure we don't miss anything. But yeah, this edge primer is nice. It actually has a little bit of acid in it, which actually etches into the metal. So that's why they call it etch primer. Yeah, and you can sort of smell it. <coughs> you can already tell now these two parts are too close to each other. I'm gonna have to separate them a little bit. Okay, let's get this engine block. And then it just sort of seals everything too. So we'll give it a good etch prime in there. And they never did this from the factory. That's why they're so peely when they get old. 
but they didn't have all that fancy technology back then. So yeah, get some etch primer in there. And the nice thing about paint, spray painting these smaller parts is even if you don't get it perfect, they're sm the parts are small enough that the paint's just going to lay out and it's going to smooth out a lot of your imperfections. Get some up in there. But yeah, just make sure you get all, all your angles as best you can. We'll get this guy. Whew. And this stuff dries pretty fast. And like I said, with these small parts, I don't even bother sanding them or anything. Just paint it. Just paint right over the fresh primer. It'll smooth out. Oops. Okay, that looks like it's got some pretty good primer on it. I'm gonna get this guy. The starter cover. After all, it is just a chainsaw. We're not going for a show car finish or anything here. But I like to use the I like to use the automotive paint because it holds up a lot better to fuel and all that stuff. It's a lot harder. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do we got? What do we got? He's getting on it. He's getting on it. Oh, it was a Mustang. Mmm, nice. Okay, there we go. Everything's etch primed. Now I gotta remember how to mix up some paint, so let me go do that. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's mix some paint. Here's the yellow, it's sort of a pale yellow. It'll look nice. It's pretty darn close. So this, this is just straight acrylic enamel. It's not base coat, clear coat. So we do, it's eight parts to two parts to one part. So we're gonna put in eight parts. Where's the eight on here? eight parts of paint. What a mess. Man, I haven't painted with acrylic enamel in a while. Messy, messy. Keep your lid on. Okay, now we need Two parts reducer, so that's gonna go up to ten. Eight, nine, ten, maybe a little more. For good measure. And then hardener. And I'd rather have it just a little bit thick, maybe. I mean I don't mind. Tiny, a little bit of orange peel because it's just a chainsaw for God's sake. So let's see, two and then one part, eight, nine, ten, okay. So that should be good. Just one part of hardener. Okay. Give her a little mix. Wow, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> Looks like it's about the right consistency. Make sure we mix it up really good. Okay, we're ready to paint. I'm sort of nervous. I haven't sprayed acrylic enamel in a long time. 
And so the other thing you want to do, which I learned at the paint shop I worked at years ago, an old hot rod shop, and he always would, he would always sort of wet down the area. Keep the dust down. And painting this stuff outside, inevitably you're gonna get a bug or two stuck in it. But that's just the way it goes. Especially yellow. For some reason, the bugs are attracted to yellow. So let me set up the camera and we'll get to spraying. Okay, guys, here we go. Wish me luck. Here's my paint gun. Hopefully we don't hang the curtains on it. Adjust the pressure. Okay, let's try it. Now when you put your first coat on, you don't want to get too heavy. It's just a tack coat, so. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not going to get too crazy with it. I'm trying not to hang the curtain on it. Okay. So that's a that's a good first coat. It's really thin, blotchy. Just don't worry about it, let it be. So I'm going to turn on the air compressor and I'm going to try and spread them out a little bit. So let me do that. Okay guys, the stuff's starting to, it's packing up pretty quick actually. So now we can put the, give her a heavier coat. Turn it up just a little bit. I think we're ready for our third and final coat, guys. Let's do it. Oh! Oh, don't you dump on me. Don't you flop on me. Come on. I think we pretty much got her covered. What do you guys think? Ooh, it's got a shine to it. Look at that. Nice. And the little oil pump cover. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Let me make sure I got all the angles. Look at it from all angles. I think we got her, I think we got her. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Okay guys, there's your painting lesson for the day. I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't painted anything with automotive paint in, geez, it's been a couple years and I didn't even get a run in it. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm jealous for whoever ends up with the saw. She's gonna be a beauty. That color looks pretty good. It's a little bit brighter than the original, but I think it'll look nice. That's cool. Okay, guys. We'll wait for that paint to dry. We'll let her cure out for a couple days. And then I can start putting it together. So cool. Okay, we'll catch you later.